Hey guys, okay, today I want to show you our AP145 beading tool. This tool has an interesting uh, history behind it that was fashioned after the old Parker beading tool that was uh, pretty popular back in World War II. This guy actually was used a lot in the military. I use it myself in the military, and it comes in handy for making those little beads on the end of hoses that basically you put the rubber hose over and clamp it onto. You need that little bead on the end to make it all work right, and that's what this little tool does. So I'm going to show you how to use this and um, pretty much demonstrate how easy it is to get those beads and make perfect beads on this. So we have a piece of uh, aluminum tube here. It looks like about a half inch diameter. When you buy the kit, you get a set of beaders and you also get this holder with the red jaws. Use the holder to hold the, hold the hose in place. And yeah, this is for like field operations, so that's why you want to help use the holder. If you're in a workshop, you may want to use a vise or something like that. Okay. So you want to tighten it to where you can't rotate this by hand, obviously. But you don't want to tighten it so much that you crush the tube, so be careful with that. That's about good right there. And the secret to getting this thing working well is oil. Make sure you use oil with this. So we're going to put a little dab of oil on it. And when you buy our AP145, you get a set of rollers and dies for different size tubing. So you want to select the right one. I already have this one installed here. And then we start the process. Now you want to start out lightly because that tube is going to want to resist you. It's going to want to fight you. So you want to start out lightly to get that bead moving, just like that. Then as you feel it moving, you can start applying a little bit more pressure and just work it. And again, don't forget oil. When you feel it getting a little draggy, like it's dragging, that's your cue to put a little more oil on that. And how do you know when to stop? <laughs> I get that question quite a bit. At some point it's going to get draggy and oil is not going to change. That, that's when you know you've kind of hit the end, end of the road. Like right there. I just added oil and I don't feel any difference. I'm done. The bead is done. And I can also visually look at it and tell that the bead is done. So I'm going to release it. and clean it, inspect it, and that's a good looking bead. That's how easy it is. It's the AP145 beading toolkit. Makes perfect beads every time.